Pete, you were here last night, huh? Yeah. So, so the actual public hearing was last night. The town hall was last night. Tonight's the dog and pony show. Tell us what the scoop is. Why are we here? We're being interviewed. Hey everyone, my name is Becca. I'm a community organizer with the Oahu Water Protectors and the Shutdown Red Hill Coalition. You guys ready? You're the opening act. Okay. Well, over there, the Navy is presenting all sorts of interesting information. Um, we could... And she means that in the local sense of interesting. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> um, so we're out here, the Oahu Water Protectors and different uh, Shutdown Red Hill Coalition members um, also sharing our side of the story, what we might also call a counter-narrative um, to this uh, holy <laughs> that's going on inside there. So, um, yeah, we're excited um, just to keep, uh, you know, spreading the word and sharing information, different educational material here. We also have a lot of information from Board of Water Supply, so I wanted to say thanks to all those folks. Um, and just to remind everyone that every day that that 104 million gallons of fuel sits just 100 feet above the sole source aquifer is a day for potential catastrophe. So we're here. Um, the safest option is not to do nothing. No, yeah. to take it all out. Take it all Remember out. also the PFAS contamination. One tablespoon of this has the potential to contaminate like 50 Olympic sized swimming pools. Everyone remember 1,300 gallons of, of that PFAS that just re was released into the environment. So this is a huge, huge deal, guys. Yeah. It's going to make more of us.
So we're in Aliumano right, right now. Actually, we're in, uh, well, uh, I don't know what district actually. Aliumano is technically on the other side. This is like, more like Halaba. The Halaba is right at the river down there. And this was at the time of 1659. Around 59, I think, we came over here. Moved to Maiki, Tarara, Kumehameha School. And uh, came here, pretty much went to, it was like a lot of military, you know, military dependents. Well, like a lot of the people, the kids, the fathers who built the atomic bomb, went to school with them. Oppenheimers and this is and the dad, you know, this was... At Radford? They were at Radford? Oh, yeah. The kids, kids yeah, the children went to school with them, lots of them. And, uh, all military, military families. And then you had Halaba Valley, and of course, that Midler came from there along with a lot of, you know, total uh, guerrillas uh, from the Samoans to the Hawaiians to the Portuguese runners. Took state champions football two years in a row, I think 61, 62, like that. And, uh, but this was a part, kind of selected community, you know. There weren't very many Hawaiian families or local families here. We were one of them. And I remember Keohos and uh, some, some families were over here. And then, uh, yeah, we used to play football right over here. Basketball. Mm. Basketball mm. was yeah, play football with a lot of guys who were on the table. And they, all they'd like to do is just smash the guy. <laughs> they, they didn't want to carry the ball. They just wanted to smash the guy, you know, block him or what. And what was your position? Carry the ball. I was the ball carrier in the taxi in the center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
you know, had a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun memory. Then they used to go up in the back, they had a, a, a dairy. Hmm. They used to go up and get fish, green frogs from the river. Come back walking through Foster Village with my string of big tilapia, go up there and catch them by hand. Yeah, I would go come in from the trees and they're all in the ponds. We just throw out rock inside there. They all go under the rock. We just go under the rock, grab them. Okay, wow. Next time I get wow. You know, then you gotta search the bank for green frogs. Stuff like that. All right. So this is the area, you know, and uh, and now I see, you know, it's more. Just it turns it into a, a community, a new place. I don't know. We got a lot of trees. Mm. You can tell the then the you know by the trees, kind of who's living around. Mm -hmm. say something? Hey. What do you think about everything that's happening? We do put a nice double punch in rough, but <laughs> they can't tell us why a system that was supposedly necessary for our security three years ago is now so broken and degraded that it can't get the fool out in years. So, yeah, we're just got to keep putting the pressure out and keep coming out to events like these. Let them know that you got to shut down Red Hill. Got to do it now. Want to plug the sign waving? Potentially happening um, every third Friday, right? Yes. At UH. UH, we're on the corner of Dole and University. Third Friday of every month, we will be out there collecting water, bearing signs, Dramatic change, listening to music, all kinds of good stuff. So, It'll be starting next month. Be starting next month. Hopefully, maybe we'll have one next Friday, the 27th. Yeah, yeah, we're shooting for the 27th. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, walk water protectors to <laughs> find out more. in the in the meantime yeah. right? everybody's Split moving song. right over there
is in this land until the last aloha aina we will stand until the last aloha aina we will stand